Today we're looking at Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains as he reflects on Kurt Cobain and Nirvana. Nirvana and Alice in Chains, of course, two of the heavyweight grunge bands from Seattle. But what might surprise some people is that Nirvana and Alice in Chains paths didn't cross all that often. And as you'll hear from Jerry Cantrell here in just a moment, he didn't actually even know Kurt all that well but certainly did have some good things to say about the former Nirvana frontman. In this next clip, Cantrell talks about really the one and only time that he did hang with Kurt, and that was in Rio de Janeiro in 1993 when both bands were there for the Hollywood Rock Festival. The, right. first, time I, the first and only time I ever spent time and hung with Kurt was in Rio in my, in my hotel room when we hung out for a couple of hours, and that was a really great hang and we had a good talk. And, but this is, you know, we're two Seattle guys and we've never fucking hung out. That's know? crazy, so, right? Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> uh, I always, always remember that time with him and, and it was kind of special. Talking about Kurt Cobain, Cantrell has also said, we didn't spend much time together, but the few times we did spend together were times I'll always remember. You know, he was a really sweet guy and a really genuine soul and an incredibly talented artist. And in another interview, Cantrell said, I really didn't know Kurt. I ran into him a couple of times, and I wish I had known him better. But I felt I knew him through his music. Just the beauty of his songs and how Chris and Kurt and Dave played together was unbelievably cool. So even though these two awesome legendary bands from Seattle, Alice in Chains and Nirvana, may not have crossed paths or toured a heck of a lot together or done a ton of stuff together, and I guess if you really look at it, that's quite understandable because at that time and space, both bands were extremely busy with what they were doing. Everything was just full on at that time in the early 90s. And so with all that being said, it is very cool there to hear Jerry Cantrell acknowledge Kurt Cobain and Nirvana's accomplishments. Clearly, he had some respect for the band and their music. So there it is guys, that'll do us for today's video. Be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next one.